it's Annie from Vintage Lace Journal and today I'm going to show you how to make a, a tri-fold folio to go inside your junk journals. So I've got a piece of 12 by 12 paper and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by trimming four inches off the bottom of this. Now I'm going to turn my paper so the pattern is going that way. Okay and just trim off four inches. And I'm just going to put that to the side. We will be using that in a little while. So for the piece of paper we have left, I'm going to turn it over because I want this to be my outside and I want the plain thing to be my inside. So I'm going to fold roughly a third and it doesn't matter if this piece is longer as long as this piece can be shorter um, to go over the front. So roughly a third. Fold that with a nice straight edge. And then I'm going to fold this in. And a really tip, good tip, is to get your ruler just slightly from where you want it to be and just push it out so it's a nice flat edge. I will link below the YouTube video that gave me inspiration to do this. Um, I can't remember off the top of the head, my head, the name of the lady. But um, her YouTube channel is fantastic. So lots of inspiration there. Make sure that your edges again line up and then give that a good fold. Okay, so there we have our trifold. Okay, I'm then going to turn this so it's that long ways. I'm going to cut roughly uh, two inches off the bottom, and that's going to form a belly band. And so if I cut it, turn it that way, and there we go. So this will eventually, I'll turn it around the other way. And this will go around the outside as a belly band. OK, so again, just put that to the side just for the moment. OK, I'm going to go on to the inside now. And where these creases are on the inside, it's quite hard to see. So I'm just going to fold those out. And I'm just going to use some um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Any brown ink will do or whichever colour you want to go with your project. And I'm just going to go down that crease line on one side and then down the crease line on the other side. OK, and that just helps us really see and stand out where those two lines are. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold down the edges. So I'm going to fold the outside edge to the inside. Now, I'm not going to fold it down really, really hard. I'm just going to bring it to here. And just roughly, so you can see where that crease is. And then I'm going to cut that excess piece of paper off. Just going to give that a little bit more of a fold. Okay, so I'm going to cut up to that edge there. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on this side. I need to keep these, and I'll show you why. So again taking a piece of paper and cutting up to the corner. Now this one I'm going to turn around this way and this is going to make a pocket here and then this one I'm going to make a pocket here. I'm going to cut slightly cut a little bit more off that one. Okay so your two pockets We'll go there and there. So first of all, I'm just going to come back in with my Distress Ink and just go around the edges of here. It's been a lovely sunny day here today, which has been lovely after the awful weather we've been having recently. So it's nice to be in my craft with the sun shining through the window. And like I said, that one's going to go there. So I'm going to ink that side before we glue it down. There we go. So I'm going to come in with my um, Carlisle Tacky Glue. Um, this is one of my favourite glues. I find it sticks and holds quite quickly. So down one side and the other side to stick it in to make your top pocket there. 
Um, just make sure you leave it so when your crease comes over, it's not right butted up against the crease, otherwise it will affect your fold. Tell if I opened the glue. There we go. So one little bead of glue down this side and one just down this side. So that's my first pocket. That time to just grab, checking that it's not inside, and then the same for my next one there. So, bead glue down this edge and at the bottom. There we go, and make sure the top paper covers over the one behind it. Okay, because it's tacky glue, I can just rub that off and you won't be able to see that. There we go. So that's the inside of our folder done. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to ink all my edges. And that just lifts the paper up and gives it that more of a grungy feel. Okay. okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thing piece of card in that we um, took off at the first bit. So that's our um, four inch piece of card. And I'm going to bring my trimmer in because I'm going to create a journaling card from this. So the first journaling card is going to go into the pocket here. So I do need to just take a small strip off this edge so it fits. And I'm going to roughly cut that there. Okay, so that would make my first journaling card. And then the piece that's left over, I'm going to cut that into two. So you might cut that into three. Just for some little tags. There we go. So I'm going to bring in my corner rounder. And just round all the corners so they don't get um, frayed when you put them in and out of the pockets. And this paper is quite nice, it's quite plain on the back to be able to write onto. And there we go. And because these three are tags. I'm just going to pop a little hole in the middle. So those two are the same size. I always like to mark where I'm going to put my holes because I never seem to be able to get it straight when I do it by eye. Okay. And then same for that one. Another hole that way. So eyeball where the hole's going to be. There we go. So if I bring this in now, you'll have one large journaling card to go in the back pocket and then some smaller ones to go in the front pockets there. And the one in the back as well. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this belly band, which has already got folds in it, which will be the same size as here. But what I need to do is just make another crease mark um, just for the width of the journal. So I'm going to get my ruler and where I've got this mark here, I'm going to go to the outside, just literally eighth of an inch and just bring my ruler up. So as you can see, I've got that tiny little on there, part that's then going to be able to go round the journal. So the same on this side. So again, on the outside of that edge, just bring the paper up, crease it over. And then when you bring it round, it's 
should then meet up perfectly. Now I'm going to cut um, one of these sides off. I think I'm going to cut this part off. Roughly about two inches again. So when the band, belly band comes round, I'm going to put some glue on there. Just going to use a tape runner. On both pieces and then bring those together there and where we've got that little join I'm going to take this piece and corner around it and ink the edges And that's going to go just over our little closure just there. So again, just with some glue pen, just pop that down there. Okay, so now this is ready to embellish. So that just pulls off your belly band, opens up, and we've got those lovely tags inside ready to embellish. And this can then be stuck on inside a journal. Okay, and there we have it, our little trifold with a belly band. Hope you enjoyed this and make one of your own. If you do, comment below and please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.